Here's Johnny. Take your sticking paws off. Let me be quick. Let me be quick. You fools, you're in danger. Ah! 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 He's alive. He's alive. What's the point? What do you want? You want? Hallelujah. Holy shit. <laughs> you want me this? Jack Burt. Me. Won't do any good to run, girly boy. Ah! Stop it! What's up, you movie maniacs? And welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Shatzer. And today is another collection update. Last time we did the Dario Argento stuff, and now we're moving on to Lucio Fulci. We're keeping it Italian. So let's just jump right in and get into the good stuff. All right, we're going to first start off with a lizard in a woman's skin. A great Lucio Fulci film. I reviewed it a few years ago and pretty much summed up how I felt about it. Loved it a lot, love it a lot still. Great giallo, uh, great visuals, some brutal moments, some psychedelic stuff. Uh, it's a story about a uh, politician's wife who lives in a uh, apartment building who has weird dreams at night. And one, the, one day, one of her dreams comes true and it's about a murdered neighbor. So the police think that she might have something to do with it because She's crazy and out of her mind, and this just kind of tumbles from there, and it's just really interesting, great visuals, and a great Lucio Fulci film. Mm-hmm. But let's just keep moving on to Seven Notes in Black, which is also known as The Psychic. And... I don't know if there's a Blu-ray Blu of this one, but I want to upgrade it because this is really a great Lucio Fulci flick. Not like his, um, not what he's really known for. He's, he's known for excessive violence and just over-the-top gore and in his movies. Well, mostly his horror movies, but this one's more of a slow burn drama. And it's about a woman who is a clairvoyant and she has a vision on her way to her new uh, state. Uh, about somebody walling up a uh, dead corpse in the walls and then one day when renovating her um, house she comes across that there's something inside the walls and it ends up being a body and her husband's uh, under suspicion by the police that he might have done it but it's a really strange mystery and one that not a lot of people talk about and you really should check it out if you like uh, Lucio Fulci's work and if you just like a nice thrilling drama to take up your evening. But that is Seven Notes in Black, also known as The Psychic. And I really need to upgrade this one because it is that good. But next is one of my favorites of Lucio Fulci's. It is Zombie. I know it has eight million other titles. Zombie Flesh Eaters, Zombie 2. Uh, there's gotta be a so many titles for one flick but this edition here is going off of zombie and this is the blue underground two disc ultimate edition a really great buy picked it up i think it was this year or late last year well now i gotta say 2018 because it is now 2019 but um this one is amazing it is about a island where a doctor is trying to figure out why everyone is dying and then coming back to life. And a daughter of one of the do uh, doctors or scientists, uh, his boat washes, up, washes ashore on New, uh, New York City. And she teams up with a news reporter and they go to the island to see what the hell happened to her father. And they run into zombies and it just goes crazy from there. But great effects. I love the zombie effects in this. As you can see from the cover, they are just decomposed, rotting corpses. And just the location of the island of Matul, where they go, is just really cool. Uh, atmos atmospheric and just desolate 
and lonely. It's really, really good flick. If you haven't for some reason seen it, you gotta check out Zombie, Zombie Flesh Eaters, Zombie 2, whatever title you wanna find it under, but get it quick and just check it out because it is a true zombie gem. And next is another zombie gem. It is City of the Living Dead. Another Fulci masterpiece. But this one is more um, surreal, almost supernatural. It, uh, the story starts off with a priest hanging himself in a cemetery, and it just goes downhill from there. The gates of hell open up and just weird, strange things happen. Zombies just start walking the streets, massacring people. And there's a, lot, there's a famous scene with the guy getting a screw, uh, a drill through his head. You can see over there somewhere, but um, yeah, this one's a good one. Like I said, surreal, dreamlike. You really don't know what's real and what isn't. It's just, it's a really interesting flick. And it kind of starts off Fulci's um, descent into dreamlike movies where you don't really know what's going on. It has a weird tone to it that is characteristically his own. So, City of the Living Dead, check this one out. I would say it's on par with Zombie. I mean, Zombie's my favorite, but this guy is a close, close third maybe because I think Beyond is my, is like my number two. But yeah, picked up this Blu-ray probably around the same time as I picked up Zombie here. So, been upgrading my DVDs for the Fulci collection. But next is my double dose of Fulci the old DVD from Anchor Bay. It is The City of the Living Dead, which I just showed you, but we have Don't Torture a Duckling at the bottom here. And this is one I've been kind of grappling with if I should upgrade it to Blu-ray. I've had it in my cart many a times at Amazon and just never committed to fully checking it out. But um, it's one that I really have to revisit again too because I don't remember it as vividly as the rest of them because I kind of like the rest of them more. This is an interesting giallo where um, like it's a small town where kids start dying and they don't know who it is, if it's some creepy pedophile or, or what, but it, it's, a, it's, it's a different kind of flick. And I'm going to have to check it out and do a review on it because that's kind of where I really get my head wrapped around films is when I review them. But um, yeah, I haven't seen it since college, so around 2001, 2002 is when I first saw it and haven't watched it since so I will definitely check it out soon and get a review up because there's always good it's always a good time to get a Fulci review on the channel put that one there and let's move on to the next it is the black cat Meow. just like my damn cat around this house somewhere just looks like this little bastard <laughs> well this one is a uh, another Another film that I haven't seen since college. I, that's kind of when I got wrapped up in Fulci is around that time. And I remember really liking it. And it's, a, it's, a, it's another mystery where you don't really know who the killer is. It could be considered a giallo, but a black cat just appears throughout the town. And for some reason, every time you see him, another murder happens. And some of the kills are pretty cool, pretty interesting. And I remember I liked it, but I have a whole new appreciation for these kind of flicks, so I know I'm going to love it next time I check it out. So I'm going to put that on my list, too, of uh, movies to review. So I'll tackle this one and Don't Torture a Duckling and see what you guys think. Hopefully you haven't seen any of these ones, and they'll all be a nice surprise and a learning experience for all of us. But let's move on to the next ones. Keep this Fulci train rolling. And we're going to roll to... if This is probably a tie of my favorite Fulci flick. You got Zombie, and then you got The Beyond. And this movie is, is it's close to one of my favorites. Love it absolutely to death, and I actually have a poster over here. I gotta hang up, but I got a framed poster of The Beyond right here that I gotta hang up in the collection room. But this one is badass. Who released this? This is Grindhouse releasing. And I just picked up their uh, their Pieces edition on Blu-ray. This bad boy right here. Badass flick and a badass edition. But just like that, the Beyond, they did a great job on this. 
And if you have not upgraded to Blu-ray with this guy, I recommend it. And I can't recommend it enough. Really great addition, a lot of cool stuff. And just like um, his City of the Living Dead, it's a real surreal experience where you don't really know what's going on. Things are just happening. It's a dream or a nightmare, so to speak. And just one of my favorites. Kind of has the same feel of City of the Living Dead, where just something strange happens in the beginning where everything just starts cascading down into a nightmare. But check it out, The Beyond, one of my favorites, and a great edition on Blu-ray. And I also have the Anchor Bay tin that I got years ago, which was pretty badass, and I don't have the heart to get rid of it, so I'm just gonna put it in the collection along with the other flick. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of crap, a whole bunch of stuff in there you don't need to see. <laughs> yep, that is my badass tin from Anchor Bay that I will not part with. And next, Fulci has a lot of good flicks. That's a sick, that's, that's sure a thing. But yep, here is the house by the cemetery. Another strange, surreal Fulci classic. One where a family moves into a house and weird stuff starts happening. Sometimes you don't know if it's happening in real life, and sometimes it looks like it's in a dream. But just weird stuff happens, people start dying off, and they try to figure out what the hell is going on with this house. But um, recommend this one, just like all the other Fulci flicks. Really great dreamlike stuff that is shot well, totally atmospheric, and a joy to watch. And this one, along with The Beyond, and along with City of the Living Dead and Zombie, are all just really gore, effects heavy, splatter kind of flicks. So if you're into that kind of stuff, gore-tastic stuff, check all of those flicks out. They're all amazing. All practical effects and just astoundingly gross. And next up is my other Anchor Bay double feature collection, the Lucio Fulci Collection Volume 2 with Manhattan Baby and the New York Ripper. Now, I'm a big fan of the New York Ripper, and that's after I got a better appreciation for it after I reviewed it. Uh, this is probably two years ago. And it's pretty much a film of a slasher in New York City just murdering prostitutes, and the cops have no idea who it is. And the weird part about this film is that the killer always calls up the cops or radio stations and stuff, and he sounds like Donald Duck, so it's just like <laughs> So it's just, <laughs> it's really strange. And I remember watching it back in college, I'm like, what the, what the hell is going on here? But I, I've gotten a bit greater appreciate, appreciation of the film that I, after I reviewed it, and uh, I've just seen so many films since then that it just really stuck with me the, the next time I watched it. But um, Manhattan Baby is one of those ones where I just, I, I revisited it, and for some reason, it's one of those flicks that I always fall to sleep, fall asleep to. It's just I don't, I can't explain it. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna give it 2000, 2019. I'm gonna give it another shot, and if I dig it, I'll make, I'll do a review on it. I'll give it another shot. But it's about a, a, a family who has two kids, I believe it is, and they, they go on like expeditions and stuff like that to Egypt, and they find a necklace, I believe it is and the necklace is cursed, and the family just starts experiencing a whole bunch of weird stuff when they uh, go back home to New York City. So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a really supernatural flick, and a lot of strange stuff happens in it, but um, for some reason it just cannot hold my attention, and I don't know why. No clue why, probably a decent, decent enough flick, but I will give it another chance this year. Hopefully I like it. But, next up is Murder Rock! Are you ready to rock? Well, this one is another one that I didn't appreciate there, uh, very much, or just didn't think anything of it when I first saw it years ago. But I actually reviewed it, uh, I believe it was two years ago, along with the other ones. It seemed like I was on a full cheek kick back then. And uh, yeah, the review's up on the channel if you want to check it out. It's really cool. It's a, it's a slasher slash um, giallo kind of flick where a dance studio in New York City is just 
being plagued by murders. Like each person that's in this um, production that's coming up keeps getting murdered off one by one and nobody knows who it is, if it's just an ambitious person in the dance troupe that's trying to work their way up to the top. But um, it's pretty cool, pretty stylish, great music, rock and soundtrack, and dirty, dirty ass New York City in the 80s, so you gotta love it. Good, good flick, and not many people really talk about it, but you should check it out if you're a fan of these kind of films. Murder Rock. And last, but I wouldn't know if it's least or not because I've never seen this flick. I don't know why. I think it was just like, I think it might have been made for TV or something like that in Italy and I just for some reason didn't want to take the chance because I was burned on all the, all the Dario Argento films from made for TV, but House of Clocks. From what I understand, it is a movie about a group of thieves who break into a house and try to rob an elderly couple, but the tables begin uh, to be turned on them when the uh, older couple starts defending their home. Sounds pretty cool. And it's got a lot of the Fulci regulars like Al Cleaver, so I don't know, I'll probably like it. I don't know why I just never got around to checking it out, probably because I have a shitload of movies that I have in my collection that I still haven't watched. So that's probably why I never got around to it. But that, my friends, is the Fulci collection of the collection. <laughs> so we got Argento out of the way, and we got Fulci out of the way. And I'm debating on next either doing Bava or George Romero or John Car Carpenter. So stay tuned, it's probably going to be um, George Romero. We'll just do George Romero next. I don't know, maybe you'll stick with Italian and go with Bava. We will see, we will see. But guys, that is it for me today in the collection video. Hope you liked it. Hope you saw some additions you want to pick up. And looking forward to some reviews that I might do later on, like um, The Black Cat, or um, what was the other one? Uh, maybe Manhattan Baby, if I dig it. But that's it for me today. So I will see you guys next time at either a movie review or a collection update, I guess. Still working on that title. But guys, I'll see you later. Take care.